So I've opened up an empty project in Unreal Engine 5. Um, I'm running at a let's have a look, uh, screen percentage of 54 and uh, getting about 68 frames per second. I think it's on epic scalability. This is on a 1080 Ti, so uh, your mileage may vary as they say. And um, it comes in a folder, City Sample Crowd. And if you go to the blueprints, what you want to do is just drag the character into the viewport like this. Okay, this appears to be the default character, but the whole point of this is that you can modify the characters, not with the same degree of um, modification as you will find in the MetaHuman Creator, um, but this is happening in engine and um, it's designed for crowds rather than the, the kind of hero assets. So um, we find the BP crowd character there. Um, if you drag more in, it just uh, names them sequentially I mean you could give them names if you want your crowd to actually have identities but um, anyway the, the first one is just uh, defined like that uh, first thing I can change is the gender there are currently two options male and female uh, there you go. and the body type um, this is if you've used uh, metahuman creator the three are normal underweight and overweight so that will obviously scale up so if you just see the overweight there and then the uh, underweight and there is also um, down the bottom here there is a scale factor index now whether this takes you um, ah, no I think this is to do with tall short and medium so three two one so I think we're at normal height there um, one is not quite sure what two is then um, but this is the way in which you get the short tall and uh, medium height so we'll leave it there like that and we'll go back to uh, normal weight and yeah, just pull in a little bit <clears throat> then um, the shape of the head is the next one the head index there are six different uh, shapes of head uh, so just, just pull in a bit so you can see that closer so the shapes of head And then the skin texture is to do with different um, ethnicities. You can see the um, things changes there. Although what I've noticed here, I, this is the second time I've done this, is there appears to be this this kind of pigmentation here on the side that regardless of see it seems to be staying there I don't know whether that's the case if I change to female oh, it's gone now so let's proceed for the minute um, and the female okay so we go with that one um, and then there is a modifier for the skin texture here, which um, I think it's increasing the number of freckles. I'm struggling to see the difference, and um, so it could be um, to do with wrinkles and things of that nature. Here is the different uh, styles of um, hair. So let's go with that. There we go. Um, eyebrows, if I pull back in again, thickens and, and thins those out. Um, Mustache, don't think it functions under with females, similarly with beard, um, but they've got quite limited options with those. The hair colour, um, you can go from white to black to doesn't appear to be a really blonde, you know, a real platinum blonde. Um, and then if I pull out again the outfit index, let's get it right back to this level here. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure of the number of combinations because sometimes you can have a shirt and a jacket and sometimes just a jacket. Um, so this is the female one. It's, it's, it's quite responsive in, in clicking through that. <clears throat> so let's go with that one. Now once having changed the, the outfit, the style you like, 
You then have the option to change the material. Okay. Um, and again, I don't know how many variations there are. You see, it's, it's affecting all elements of the outfit at the same time. It doesn't seem possible to, unless you, you have so many variations because it covers the different permutations. And then below the material, you have the pattern. Um, and then the pattern color on top of that. Mm, I'm getting a lot out of the pattern color index. Um, not with because we, yeah, I had that up there. So if I come back down here, now you can see the pattern color. Maybe if the, we change the outfit, yeah, it's pattern color there. Uh, and then the accessories. Now these are a bit. Um, you need to kind of remember these numbers because once you apply an animation to the crowd figure if it's an animation holding a backpack you'll need to know that I think it's seven oh, no it's different for different genders um, let's try five and then there will be an animation that accords with that positioning because it does look a bit odd at the moment there's your backpack now one of the things I noticed with the backpack and it could be that once the animation's running, uh, that kind of works. But it does seem like you know you're getting some um, piercing of one object with another. A uh, scale factor we've looked at, and then you have uh, the random options. This takes a little while, but I'll just show you how that works. And then it's come up; it's decided those things for me. So now let's try um, an accessory again. So let's try accessory three, which is the backpack. <coughs> So, um, we've, we've determined, uh, rather by um, randomness rather than intention, uh, a particular look, that's fine. And now, if we go to <coughs> animation, um, I think you'll find if you choose use animation asset. <coughs> there you go, there we go. If, or do I need to do it on the body? Let me just check, uh, use animation asset. Nope. Um, on the character itself, you use animation asset, and I think it's F. Um, you can also type idle, but the animation is FTN, female, tall, normal, and I think it then scales them. So if I just tap in FTN, that's all of the animations that uh, relate to uh, the crowd character. So we'll look for the backpack. Good. Now that seems to have scaled quite well. So let's play this, see what this looks like. Um, so I'm getting now 60 frames per second. <clears throat> now as a background character, and imagine that I could do this several times, which I'm going to do uh, shortly just to conclude this video. Um, that's pretty good. And uh, the issues we have with the backpack have largely gone. I don't think we'd worry about the, the little gaps there like that. So, um, if you want to have a look at what the choices currently are here, so um, I could go to character and choose uh, skeletal mesh and choose uh, head, I think. Face. <clears throat> here we go, yes, under face. So these are the... Um, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, six male and six female. And um, they are uh, there. And you can variously go through here and see many of their kind of options. You can do a similar thing um, to see the the accessories you've got. I think there's about um, eight or nine different hairstyles. Um, and I imagine, although I didn't uh, do it myself, you should be able to then add um, other material to that. So coming out that, I'll just um, see if I can load this up before it kind of crashes with additional characters. So we've got one in there at the moment. So let me just find the blueprint and stick in some more. Turn off that.
So now we have 10, let's play that and see what our frame rate is like. Uh, I'm just compressing the animations. If this takes an absolute age, no it doesn't, so let's go. So. Uh, walking in place, so that would have to be something that you'd um, sort of count for. Uh, if you look through the folder you'll find I think there's six different long facial animations. It would be interesting to see if you can rig this up to live link. Um, so amongst the crowd you could then have a speaking part. So let's go around the group here. So I'm still getting about 60. Um, obviously they're standing in the middle of nowhere waiting for nothing because there's nothing uh, to come. But that's pretty good, and that's, imagine how long that would have taken to uh, knock up to create. Now obviously I was put it in an environment, um, that would um, seem more reasonable. But I think that's, that's pretty good, and the quality, um, so this is on LOD minus one, so it is swapping out the LODs um, accordingly. Not sure about the guy walking and how easy that is to change. Um, and whether if you only got six loops whether you'll notice with a large crowd if they're all kind of looping at the same time or whether it starts at different points in the sequence obviously you can't do with the reaction thing because you wouldn't want to start in the midst of that i guess okay so um that's me done